A medical headline caught our attention today. It suggested a possible link between high levels of folic acid in pregnant women and an increased risk of their children developing an autism spectrum disorder. Well, our Dr. John LaPook has been looking into this and is with us now with a dose of reality. John, pregnant women are told to take folic acid. Right, and that stays exactly the same. There's no doubt that women who have too little intake of folic acid during pregnancy have an increased risk of having kids with severe neurological problems, birth defects. So that recommendation from the government, which is to take 400 to 800 micrograms of folic acid a day during pregnancy, that stays exactly the same. Nobody is questioning that. So what do you make of this study? Well, this study, normally we would not cover a story that was this preliminary. It's an abstract, meaning it hasn't yet been even submitted for publication to a journal. It has not been reviewed yet by the scientific community. And there are some numbers in there that give me pause. For example, the rate of autism that they report is about five times what the CDC reports. And that makes me wonder, are they overdiagnosing autism? That said, what it showed was that women who have very high levels of folic acid, which is folate, or B12 soon after delivery, had kids who went on to develop autism at a higher rate than normal. Now, this does not mean that taking too much B12 or folate causes autism. This is an association. There needs to be a lot more study. And the bottom line here is the recommendation stays exactly the same. We do not want women to misinterpret this headline. They should still be taking folic acid supplementation during pregnancy. So despite the headlines we've seen today, this study is extremely preliminary and doesn't change the advice to take folic acid when pregnant. Yes, and of course, always check with your doctor during pregnancy or any other time when you're taking any kind of supplementation or medication. Dr. John LaPook with The Straight Story. Thank you, John.